Let me paint you a picture. It's a beautiful sunny day. You're chatting with friends, having a drink, having a smoke, enjoying yourself. When all of a sudden you can't even hear the person standing next to you because some annoying cunt is revving the engine on his motorbike. Now I don't know about you, but that sound pisses me off something rotten. The thing that gets me the most is the fact that the cunt doing the revving thinks it's cool. He also thinks everyone else thinks it's cool. Completely unaware that the majority of people agree with South Park. You guys know that everyone thinks you're total fags, right? My brother told me about Sons of Anarchy and how great it is. But I didn't believe him, so he told me to watch it. And I really didn't want to. I thought it was going to be like this. Now after that intro, you probably think I'm going to shit all over Sons of Anarchy. And if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that's what I tend to do. Unfortunately, I can't do that today because my brother was right. Sons of Anarchy is fucking great. It's well written, the story's exceptional, and the acting's fantastic. But of course it is. It's an all-star cast. Our main character, Jax Teller, is Pete from Green Street. His stepdad, played by Ron Pellman, fucking hellboy. And Jax's mum is Leela from Futurama. And now I've told you that, you'll never be able to unhear it. What are, you, what are you talking about? It's me, Leela! Some shows have a great beginning but a shit ending. Some shows are slow and boring at the start, then become amazing by the end. And some shows have more bad seasons than they do good ones. It's very rare for a show to be consistently good the whole way through. That being said, Sons of Anarchy is one of those rare shows. For me, it lives up there with Breaking Bad. So let's get into it. First things first, the theme song is fucking awesome. Right into this world, all alone. Created by Kurt Sutter, the show ran for seven seasons from 2008 to 2014, amounting 92 remarkable episodes. Set in the fictional town of Charming, the series delves into the outlaw motorcycle club known as the Sons of Anarchy, exploring themes of power, loyalty, brotherhood, family, betrayal and murder. Lots of murder. Honestly, if you haven't seen it, fuck off and go watch it. This ain't the kind of show you want spoiled. The police chief, Wayne Unser, is a crooked cop. He's on the son's payroll and in their pocket. The deputy isn't. In fact, he's the opposite. Deputy David Howe is a straight by the book kind of cop who's determined to put the sons away. However, in season 2, him and our main character Jax find themselves working together. They start to build an interesting relationship that I was really looking forward to see play out. Unfortunately, Deputy David Hale is run over and killed off at the start of Season 3, which might be one of the reasons people say Season 3 is the worst season. Another one of those reasons might be because Jax almost fucks his sister, committing incest like a... I am boy! Hey yo, what the fuck?! Now while I do tend to agree Series 3 is the worst out of all 7, that doesn't mean it's bad. There's still a lot of great moments throughout. Overall it's just a bit slower than the rest, but that slower pace allows for an incredibly emotional Episode 4. I love it when a show makes you feel, and I'm not gonna lie, this episode got a tear or two out of me. Gemma's on the run from the police, so she goes back home to see her dad, but her dad has dementia, and it's gotten to the point he needs to go into a care home. He begs and he pleads for Gemma to take him back home, he doesn't want to be here, he's scared, and Gemma's heartbroken, stuck in the moment, unable to give her father what he wants because she knows this will be best for him. All she can do is apologise. I have to go home now! <laughs> Say whatever you want about Gemma, I think she's great. Such a strong character, which got me thinking about modern movies. In recent years, there's been a significant push for strong and empowered female characters, which would be fine if these characters were well written. 
The problem is they're not, and that's because Hollywood doesn't understand what real female strength is. They've got it confused. Being a strong woman doesn't mean beating up men or effortlessly being great at everything, never facing trials and tribulations, no. A real strong woman is a mother. It takes real strength to dedicate your life to someone else, and mums do it happily because they love their family. A mother's love is unconditional. It knows no bounds. I don't think Gemma would be anywhere near as strong if she wasn't a mother and grandmother. And unlike Captain Marvel or any other boss bitch, Gemma has the perfect blend of toughness and femininity. Plus, she reminds me of my mum, and my mum's the strongest woman I know. Mother. Ron Perlman played the role of Clay Morrow exceptionally well. He's one of those characters you hate to love and love to hate. In many ways, Clay was the main villain of the show. He was always up to no good and in the end, he finally gets what he deserved. Juice, on the other hand, deserved a lot better. He ends up getting buttfucked in prison by Marilyn Manson, but at least he got to finish his pie. <laughs> Jax has 39 kills by the time the series ends. The only thing he did more than kill him was smoking. Jax smoked 142 cigarettes throughout the show. There's a lot of actors from the Walking Dead universe in this series. OP is Beta, Jacob Hale is the guy whose throat Rick ripped out, Hector Salazar is the governor's right hand man Martinez, Wayne Unser is Jeremiah Otto, Lincoln Potter is Proctor John, Colette is Madison Clark, and damn does she have a nice ass. Fear the Walking Dead video coming soon by the way. No character in the entire show has a redemption arc like Tig. He was very unlikable in the early seasons. Not only does he admit to being a necrophiliac. I know it's a little bit creepy at first, but I'm telling you, this soothing coldness. Tig also killed Opie's wife Donna, but then they show us his human side. He feels so guilty about what he did. He confesses to Opie and gets the living shit kicked out of him. Tig doesn't even try to defend himself. He just lets Opie wail on him. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Clay! <laughs> Tig kills Damon Pope's daughter in a hit and run, so Damon Pope burns Tig's daughter alive in front of him. No! <laughs> Tig gets his revenge, and then he meets Venus, and it's love at first sight, but Venus is playing hard to get. It's not gonna happen, Doc. Really? Eventually though, they fall in love and Tig ends the show as Vice President of the Sons of Anarchy. Tig is a necrophiliac murderer who buttfucks ladyboys and somehow he becomes one of the best characters in the show. Which is testament to how good the writing is. Now as good as Sons of Anarchy is, it isn't perfect. There's a few things that piss me off. Like the fact that Zobel gets away unscathed. Okay, his daughter died, but he didn't, and he warranted it more than most. Also, Abel, the kid's so bad at acting, anytime he's on screen, it becomes painfully obvious you're watching a TV show. And lastly, the CGI in that final shot is piss poor. But other than those little things, it really is one of the best TV shows ever made. 9 out of 10, a must watch. Well, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, why not like it? If you liked me, why not subscribe? Then, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace. Smoke weed every day.